I'm Polly Bath, and I travel around the country um, helping schools to navigate some of those behavior problems that interrupt instruction. Today, I'm going to answer one of your questions that comes from high school. Here goes. I told a student the other day that her grades were slipping. It didn't matter to her at all. Many of my high school students don't seem to care about anything. I'm more concerned about their future than they are. <laughs> is there anything I can do to get them to value their education? This is a real tough one, and I hear it a lot. It seems like by the time we get to high school, I, you know, school hasn't been a great place for me, and by that point, I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to get through the motions. So two things have happened. Over the years, kids have kind of looked at school as a checklist of things to do. And during the pandemic years, it made it even more so. So we had our wonderful platforms of kids who had to go to school virtually, and they had so many assignments they had to get in, and they would check the boxes on whatever platform you were using. And once they got those things done, school was over. So that's a problem because school shouldn't be a list of things to do. School is an experience. The whole thing is an, a learning experience, and there has to be something motivating behind it. The second part of this is that it happens really young. I was watching a news story the other day, and they were interviewing um, children who were going to a new summer camp. They were getting picked up by the bus, taken to the summer camp, and then brought home just as if they were going to school every day. The question to the child was, what do you think? Isn't this like going to school? The answer the child said on the air on a news story was, oh no, it's not like learning, this is fun. And it just like, oh, it like stabbed my heart. Because um, what that child was saying at a very young age is that it's not fun to go to school. And you know, we don't have to make everything fun, but let's face it, we all avoid things that are difficult for us or not kind of our choice of what we'd like to do. So a couple things we can do at the high school level, because as we know, it gets harder at the high school level because we've already had years of, all right, we did it through this so we can start living. So we have that kind of perception of school that makes it hard at that level. So here we go. A couple things that I've seen throughout my travels have been kids who come to high school, the bus drives up, and what if you had a red carpet that you put out? And the first day of school, these kids get off the bus, they come down the red carpet, your teachers are, you know, the side of the red carpet clapping, asking them for autographs, just like they're going to the Emmys. What would happen to those kids' minds? They'd be like, blown. I've actually seen a school do this, and they did it with an orange carpet the first day of school, because that was part of their school colors. I also have seen teachers who, at the high school level, will dismiss kids, um, dancing them out the building. Sounds silly, sounds crazy, but I once witnessed a high school teacher who had a boombox on his shoulder, and he was dancing to the 1970s, 80s tunes, and kids were just looking at him like he had like three heads. But I got to tell you something. Some kids danced with him, other kids just went, and other teachers smiled, and before you know it, a couple other teachers did it. And we saw after a while kids who would purposely go upstairs to that floor to leave school, and they'd have to go down another floor, because that mattered to them. You can't make them love school and care about education if their perception is already in a place where I got to get out of here. But what you can do is present little things that kids start to change their perception a little bit, and they get a little bit more engaged in school, which is going to help you in every angle. Thanks for watching today. If you have comments about this subject, you can put those down below. And if you have questions that you might like to see answered in a future video, put that down below as well.